The adverse why, effects. Yeah, the adverse what effects. they are in a nutshell. And yeah, and be and so the because there is confusion about there's confusion about so many things, but firstly that, and then the confusion about we'll go into why that's even why there is more confusion than just that alone. And this mm -hmm. whole topic is very confusing. But just on that, perhaps you could address that briefly. Sure. And I'll, I'll say for any of your listeners who are interested in, in sort of a deep dive overview of the health effects, Overpowered, which is the book that I wrote with, with my father, that is a fantastic uh, resource that really goes into the depth of what these health effects are. In Empowered, I just have one chapter uh, really covering the science of the health effects, and that's that's for the reader who, for whom this might be the only book on the topic that they, that they purchase. Um, but I'll say uh, in answer to you what I say in the book, which is what the science tells us is that we find these health effects in virtually every biological system uh, where we look for them. And I know that that sounds both extreme and for some people difficult to believe, but it is, it is true. And I wanna emphasize, again, it's not just in humans, it's in all forms of life. We see negative bio effects from these exposures, even very low levels um, in, in every biological system uh, where we look for them. So the one that gets the most headlines, obviously, is brain tumors. Um, especially with the potential uh, or uh, the, the potential when people uh, hold the phones right up to their heads. Uh, that's very close proximity. Um, but it's not just brain tumors. Uh, it's uh, many, many forms of cancer, thyroid cancer, prostate cancer, uh, lymphoma. Um, but again, it's not just cancers. So we see it with neuro, the links with neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, and ALS. We see it in uh, perhaps less drastic uh, manifestations in sleep disruption and anxiety and rates of depression. Uh, we definitely see very strong links with fertility, uh, but not just fertility, uh, with uh, birth defects and miscarriage rates. We see it uh, in growth of plant life, uh, plant life apologies, uh, seed germination, uh, we see it, uh, it links with colony collapse disorder in bees, migratory patterns in whales and turtles. Uh, we see these impacts everywhere. And there are a few potential mechanisms uh, that could explain why the uh, negative effects are so broad. The one I like to cite, um, uh, because I feel like this, this, this communicates effectively to a large number of people, is the work uh, of doctors Henry Lai and Narendra Singh, uh, who in the 1990s, and they, they were working with cordless phones, they showed that even brief exposures to cordless phone radiation, which is very, very similar to cell phone radiation, uh, we're talking about exposures of 15 minutes, uh, led to strand breaks of DNA. And this is peer-reviewed public uh, published research, and uh, it has been replicated numerous times in the years uh, since since they originally published. Yes, thank you for that resume. And there really is so much science on this. The science is very uh, compelling, um, clear and present danger, um, and yet there's virtually no regulation the it's a sort of fox is guarding the hen house yes kind of approach whereby industry is calling the shots and we talk about safety standards and so on but really bottom line is it's all about the money it would yes. appear yes and this so is the a real problem because yeah no matter how strong the science is if it's the money that is really for, you know, which, which is the most important thing, which our governments are supporting also, by the way, um, then really it's almost as if the science is irrelevant. And yes. so that's really where we are now is people are just, um, they're being deluded, they're being misled, and um, 
the few there are few health conscious people that are aware of really what what the dangers are yeah so there's a story i tell in the book uh that that i learned about from the the movie concussion with will smith but there's dr amalu uh who uh in the early part of this century discovered uh, the incidence of CTE in football players, that is chronic uh, traumatic encephalopathy, which is a serious form of brain damage that leads to really serious health consequences and premature death uh, in a large number of football players. And the reason I tell this story in the book is because, uh, not, not, not just because of the important work that this doctor did, uh, but because what he was arguing would essentially boil down to smashing your head with the force of a jackhammer thousands and thousands of times can lead to brain damage, right? And, and this is the most obvious thing in the world. Uh, but the NFL, which at the time was approximately a $40 billion concern, uh, fought back. And they commissioned their own science. They worked to discredit Dr. Amalu. They did everything they could to destroy his career. After 10 years, the NFL eventually came around to uh, acknowledging this, adjusting the rules of the league, adjusting the design of the helmets that the players are required to use. But it took 10 years and they were able to fend off, again, what is the most obvious thing in the world, that smashing your head can lead to brain damage. And I say, if the NFL, which was a $40 billion concern, uh, can do that, uh, what challenges are we facing now? Because if you look at the value of, uh, so the top 10 most valuable companies in the world right now, eight of them rely almost exclusively on e you being exposed to EMF for their business model. And I'm talking about companies uh, like Apple and Microsoft and Nvidia and Google and Amazon. All of these companies, uh, they make their revenue only if you are exposed to EMF. Mm. And the value of these eight companies alone right now is approximately $1.4 trillion. One of the things you say is that the best EMF protection is free. Now, that is not something you would think you would hear from the guy who's running the biggest EMF <laughs> protection company on the planet. So I don't only say that in the book, I also say, and if you're not making these behavioral changes, uh, it's don't spend any money on EMF protection products because they will not alone solve your problem. So behavioral changes are not only free, they are the most effective and they are uh, the first step in living an EMF safer lifestyle because eliminating exposure to the to the toxin uh, in the first place is the most effective way to combat exposure to the toxin, mm. not mitigating the exposure once it's already in play. Yes. And so and there are a lot of ways uh, which I think if someone's new to this topic, they may not fully appreciate how small changes in the technology they use and how they use it can lead to really significant impacts in reducing their overall exposures. Yes, and uh, really it is not that difficult when you know how. Um, when you're looking at all these different exposures and the key one is obviously the cell phone mm -hmm. for most people, that because of the proximity, I want moms and dads to know. Um, but it is particularly dangerous, isn't it, uh, for kids? And the science really backs this up. Let's just address that for a moment. Yeah, well, so the younger you are, the more vulnerable you are to damage from these forces. And I actually added some more, uh, a, a section more explicitly about children to the book since the version you have. Okay. Um, uh, because that was some feedback that, that I had. Um, but... Uh, there, there are a few reasons of that. And by the way, when I say the younger you are, that extends into the fetus. So uh, uh, babies in utero are the most vulnerable, then newborns, then young children, then teens, and then adults. Mm. And there are a few reasons for this, uh, some of which I enumerate in the book. 
Children are obviously, or young, the younger you are, the more you are growing. And that, just doesn't, that doesn't just impact size, that's actually cellular division. And so the more you're growing, the more rapidly your cells are dividing. Uh, we talked already about genetic mutation. If cells are mutated, that means the faster you are, your cells are dividing, the faster that mutated genes will spread throughout your body. And thus the faster that disease, the faster and wider that disease uh, can have an impact. Children are much, much, much more vulnerable uh, to uh, damage from these forces than, than someone like you or I am. Thanks so much for sharing today, for writing the book and just doing the work in the world that you're doing. Thank, Thank you. you very much for the work that you do and for also particularly helping me get the word out about Empowered. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. And thank you, listener viewer, for attending this interview and all my interviews are available in the EMF Expert Solutions Club with transcripts. Until next time, my name is Lloyd Borrell from electricsense.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.